Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Raúl. Good evening. Welcome. <clears throat> we are about to start, but I see that uh, not many of your classmates have joined yet, so we are waiting for them, all right? How about your flu? No, no, not exactly. <clears throat> I was, uh, well, I, I'm trying to <laughs> drink some coffee. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I was in a hurry. I was in a hurry before. No, I was in a hurry before the class because I wanted to drink some coffee before, but I couldn't finish it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, everybody, thank you very much for updating your platform and for <clears throat> for um submitting your homework and putting it up to date because it's really important to um, be on time with submitting the homework because of the requirements from ANSOFOR. And we need also you to submit your midterm test. If you haven't finished it yet, you can do it tonight, okay? You can do it tonight, but please not, <clears throat> not later than tonight because we need this to be updated all right because of uh it's a requirement okay my dear class we are going to start so allow me to call the roll it will be the first activity tonight because then we want to discuss some uh topics we have a new unit to start yay unit three Ana Lorena Lovato Orellana, Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martinez. Present teacher. Okay, there you are. Mm -hmm. Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Carlos Eduardo Torres Durán. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Cristina Edith Ramos Ríos. Present teacher. Okay, Cristina, welcome. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Eulice Torres Torres. Present teacher. Okay. Fátima Noemi Umaña Castro. Glenda Josefina Toledo Leiva. Present. Okay, Glenda, welcome. Jose Thank Salvador you. Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here. There you are. Good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Okay, Mr. Carlos, one second. Thank you. Karen Lisette Sanchez Castro. <clears throat> Nancy Margarita Moran Moran. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Thank you, Hosman. Okay, Miss Blanca, thank you. Karen Lisette Sanchez Castro. Not yet. Nancy Margarita Moran Moran. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present teacher. Okay, Rafael, welcome. Raúl Ernesto González. Present teacher. Okay, Raúl. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Not Rosa yet. Okay, Wilber Alberto Perez Mendez. Mr. Perez Mendez, not yet. Jose Miguel Torres Hernandez. I saw you were the first one connected. Uh, uh, maybe you're still driving. Okay. Uh, 
sure I saw someone else. No, oh, I think everybody. Okay, people. Oh, Edwin. Thank you, Edwin. Okay. There you are. Okay. So welcome everyone. We are going to start our unit three tonight. How do you feel? ¿Cómo se sienten? How do you feel? We are starting unit three. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is the, uh, it will be penultimate, penultimate uh, week of this module. So, oh, we want to keep this update to update. Okay. Updated. Everything must be okay. So allow me to introduce the class. Okay, unit three is prototyping, right? It's like uh, the mass production. We want to talk about the production processes. Um, <clears throat> so the class agenda for tonight is that we are having a short bit feedback. You are going to make this feedback. Then we are going to work on vocabulary. Uh, if you have doubts, if you have questions, please let me know. Ask me the questions you need to solve, all right? And then we have a conversation in our manuals. We have a discussion too. Solo que le daremos un poquito de vuelta. Discussion lo vamos a pasar quizás al principio, okay? Discussion lo vamos a pasar al principio, después del feedback. After that, we're going to see some terms and definitions related to production line. Uh, we want to do some online exercises, uh, but in our um, manual, we have an exercise just to rank the, or to put in order all the steps of prototyping and the production process. So we want to see production line vocabulary, terms, concepts, words, um, also phrases, but mostly terms and concepts. We want to define what is a production line, okay? We want to define what this process is about. And remember, this is your class number 16. So we want to achieve this objective. We want to use terms related to production line and prototyping, okay? We want to use terms related to production line and prototyping. First, we are gonna get familiar with this vocabulary and then we're gonna use it in some sentences we wanna make. Uh, maybe just describing the processes or uh, giving your opinions about what this is. What do you know about it, okay? And we want to share that. First of all, vamos a pasar, <clears throat> vamos a recordar un poquito qué es el product development process, okay? What is the product development process? Because unit two was about product testing and the first one was um, like, the idea generation and then we filter those ideas and we defined and decided for one only idea. But then we needed to uh, test. What did we test? We test our product, our concepts, and also our idea, okay, our idea because it was an idea before launching, remember? We mm, saw some different 
test mo I mean test methods or uh, ways to collect information from people uh, uh, in order to define um, the advantages and disadvantages of my idea of my business or my um, let's say um, my new business production okay before before of uh, launching, we test our product. But to test our product, we said that uh, in the development process, okay, we had the brainstorming, then we have the development. In the development, we have a testing thing too. Then we have the test of the whole product. Okay, the test of the, the whole product. We are still in testing, okay? We are still in testing, but also uh, before the process of production, okay? We are going to produce our product, produce our product, uh, but we need to test the functioning of this product. That is why we are still here. And remember that these are multi-phases. These are multi-stages processes. It, this is a stage, but it has stages in it, okay? So remembering this process, okay, we said that we have the concept development and testing, okay? The concept development and testing, but then we have the product development, okay? The product development, product development. In the business analysis, we saw if, if uh, producing it was feasible with a focus group, monadic test, we test uh, not exactly the product um, by itself or maybe with the product itself, but we're talking about features, and all of this, okay? All the characteristics of our product, but mostly the concept, what this product is made for, what this product has been made for. So we are in the product development now. Remember, concept development and testing. Then we have product development, okay? Then we have the product development. So let's go and see this just a little bit, because today uh, we have production line. What do you think production line is? Have you ever heard about production line? Have you ever heard about production line? Production line. What would it be? What do you think it is? It's like a sequence. For a sequence? Mm -hmm. Any any new product. Okay. The sequence of producing the, or to making the product. Is, is that correct? What do you think is this production line? That's a very good idea from Nancy. Now, what about, what do you think? What about you think? I'm still looking for the last one. Mm -hmm. I think it's the change of, the chain of uh, production of mm -hmm. one, one item. The change? The change of production. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, chain, chain. chain. Okay, chain. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so, is, uh, desde, como es? Since. Since. Uh, well, beginning in este caso, of, from, from. From, from beginning mm -hmm. uh, to the end. Okay, okay. 
Okay, now let's think about what production line is. Okay, and our objective for tonight is to know things related to the process of production and also to the process of prototyping. Okay, so let's go to the platform. Let's go to the platform. On the platform, I posted a discussion, okay? I posted a link, uh, I shared a link for you to watch a short video. In that video, you will find some people doing activities or working efficiently, okay? Working really efficiently. So we want to see this video and after watching the video, I want you to discuss what is production line and what do you think it is mass production, okay? Production line and how is it related with mass production, okay? So let's go to the platform and go to the session number 16. Please scroll down all the page to the bottom and there you're going to find the discussion. When you get your conclusion, then you are going to write your idea. What a concept. What is production line and what is mass production? Okay. What is a production line and what is mass production? You are not going to see a process, an, an industrial process. You're going to see people working, okay? ¿Ya llegaron ahí en la plataforma? Are you there yet? You scroll down all the way to the bottom, you click on mass production, and then you click on this video, yeah, and you watch it with your group. Then you define what is production line. What is production line? And relate this to mass production, mass production. A ver, ¿qué vamos a ir a hacer? Tell me, please. See the video. Mm -hmm. Watch the video. Then discuss. Uh -huh. Define what is production line and how it relates with relate with a mass production, okay? Hoy sí, una discusión pequeñita, vamos. Uh, I have a question. Tell me. The, the answer uh, read in the platform. Yes, please, individually. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, please. Teacher. Tell me. No, no. Excuse me? ¿Y dónde está la tarea? ¿Tres puntos cuánto? No, no, it's not a homework. It's a discussion, a discussion. post. Ajá. Váyase a la eh, videoconferencia, a la primera, que sería la sesión es, de este día. Ahorita voy a ver el número aquí, se me olvidó. Un ratito, ah, se me olvida. 3.0. Video conference number 16. Se va hasta abajo y ahí encuentra la discusión. Da clic en el link que está ahí y miran el video con sus compañeros. ¿Ok? Les llegó la invitación, jóvenes.
Yes, teacher. Okay. Glenda, ¿con qué grupo trabaja usted? Ya se me fue, Glenda. No, mujer. Ah, okay. eh, Ajá. Con los Carlos. Con los Carlos, vamos a ver. No sé en cuál sería ahora porque no tengo a los Carlos ahí. ¿Dónde está Carlos Domínguez? Eh, para la sala 2, con Edwin, con Eulice, con Nelson. Okay. ¿Con quién más trabaja usted, Len? Carlos Miguel, parece. José Carlos. No, la cosa es que eran como tres Carlos. Ok, bueno, pero como ahorita no vamos exactamente a lo del grupo, la voy a asignar al, a, a otro grupo, ¿ok? Ok. Va, al, va a ir al número tres, con Hosman y con Nancy. Ok. Teacher, the, the video is called, let me see, the best at their job. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok, ok. Miss Fátima, aunque esté de oyente, se puede ir a la sala para que pueda escuchar lo que estén hablando los compañeros, ¿ok? Eh, Mr. Carlos, lo voy a enviar a... A ver, por ahí tenemos... José Miguel está, está available. José Miguel... Ah, ya entró. Entonces a todos ustedes los voy a mandar al 4, ¿ok? Y tengo a Blanca. Blanca no se ha unido a su grupo. Aunque esté de oyente, puede unirse para escuchar. Raúl, ¿pudo unirse a su grupo? Teacher, yo ya me había unido. A mí... Tengo problemas para conectarme a la otra sala, pero nomás me salgo, me vuelvo a, me vuelvo a incorporar, Ajá. pero me, 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 me volvió a sacar y ya estaba en el grupo. ya. Pero ahorita me lo ha pasado al grupo 4. Entonces, váyase abajo, váyase abajo en donde dice sala para grupos pequeños. Ajá. Ahí abre, hágale clic y ahí le va a dar para que, se, para que ingrese. Vaya, ahorita pena, ¿no? Producción Lin. Pues prácticamente están trabajando rápido. Video, están trabajando y el proceso de producción de cada uno de los de las partes que aparecen ahí es uh -huh. de analizarlo. Por ejemplo, una de las partes es que las personas se vuelven expertas en cada una de las actividades que realizan dentro del proceso productivo. Parents, about the...
who was finished the video? Ya lo contestaron a alguien. So I send you something in the chat. Es donde sale esperando una mandarina a alguien y con una cacerola o cuchillo o algo así. El video. Yes. Ok. The, the video is people working fast. Ah, ok. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, and that's the the the, the point. Uh, you you can increase your your productivity uh, when you you are. ¿Cómo se dice? Incrementas tu productividad mientras más practicas. Okay. And depending the 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 work you you can you can be a master in this part of production entonces eh, una una línea de producción yes uh, you increase your productivity when more repetitive 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 it is um that's the point. Uh, you put a, a, a life of people doing a one a, one activity of the process. And the, in these people uh, with the act with the action uh repair. Hello, how's it going? Are you watching the video now? We just yes. finished. Okay, uh, did you send your, your conclusions? No yet. Okay, please write your conclusions on the platform. Okay, right here. Mm -hmm. It's individual. Yes, it, individually. Yes, please. You're yeah. You have to respond individually. Entonces, una línea de producción de, de, de eso está conformado, ¿verdad? En la secuencia de operaciones de, 
establecida en, 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 en la línea. Ok, but uh, some production line is part of the mass production. Or no? Mm, I don't know. I think are different, but maybe I, I am wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my idea, my opinion, maybe, I guess, is the production line is part of the mass production. Mass production is the action, I guess, when you uh, produce <laughs> some, some uh, how is the word? Some good, uh, un bien, donde produces un bien. Eh, yeah. masivas. Entonces, para poder hacerlo eh, de forma masiva, estableces una, una línea de producción. Ahora, ¿cómo digo esto en inglés? I think the line, the, the production line is when the factory production something in sequence in sequence it's like a part but the, the same part in in sequence but in infinity a number of part all day but the another the another word like Mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember the name. I don't know what is, what is, uh, let me see the name. Ah, the, no, I confuse. The mass production is in, well, in my opinion, is the, 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 the part of the, for example, the uh, factory, uh, doing something in this case for example uh, a part of something and then doing uh, and x x uh, let me see my idea x number of time i i i guess Okay. Mm. Teacher, una consulta. Let me know. En, en, en el chat, en lo que puso, es así, es cuando se pone quan, quantities of a good, eh, se, se está refiriendo al objeto, a los bienes, ¿verdad? Goods, yeah. Goods. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Goods and services, productos o bienes, right? And services. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. A uh, good mm -hmm. is un bien, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, get off there. So, for example, the 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 newspaper teacher is a mass pro production. Yes, but because it is, I mean, it contains the same characteristics. It's, uh, but that's in series. It could be mass production too, because it's in a big oh. quantity, but that's series or, and of course it is a production line. It is a production line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, the production line is the el medio cuando me refiero al cómo podría decir eso the mean the mean okay mm -hmm. production line is the mean for do a mass production the mean or no um mm -hmm. uh using the example uh, of road yeah uh, the, okay the the newspaper uh, mm -hmm. the la fabricación the production mm -hmm. of newspaper is a mass production uh, and, and 
for do that production, you they use a production line to the mm -hmm. with different ma maquinaria, mm -hmm. machinery, machinery or, or different uh, different things. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, but mm, not not always. Mm -hmm. It's necessary a uh, production line and mass production, or yes. Yes, of course, because you need to define a according to the features of the product, and you will okay. say if it is. I mean, it will be easier for your production process to establish or to divide this into stages, or uh, you can also mm, construct or produce the pro I mean the object or the good in parts and then you can assemble it because that's the way to maintain uh, big uh, quantities of productions or to uh, accomplish uh, not only in time but in quantities okay in quantities mm, yes you have to divide this that's the way uh because if you want to produce in mass you need you need to establish a production line yes mm -hmm. that's how factories work mm -hmm. even if it is only you working for uh, an amount that maybe it's mm, it's too much for one person to produce you have to divide the stages of this product. For example, if you are making shoes, for example, you have to think about all the parts of the shoes first, and then you assemble the shoes, okay? To do, I mean, a, no, to produce faster or to produce efficiently, okay? Mm -hmm. Teacher, teacher. Tell me, tell me. Uh... The product line is is very important. Uh, the the high performance uh, team. Yes, it's for high performance. Yes, of course, it's basic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, because you okay. want to compete. You want to compete in the market. Not only with the um, with your products, but with uh, your responsibility or uh, the capacity of giving or uh, turning the the orders in time. Okay, so you are competing with all other companies that maybe are producing the same product or same object but they have a more efficient uh, product line. So you have to compete. So you have to have a high performance in your production process, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay then guys, uh, what is production line? Send your answers, please on the platform, type it in individually. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is production line and what is mass production? But did you watch the video? Oh, okay. See you later then, guys.
Hello. Hi. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to the main room. So now let's talk about your answers or your participations on the platform, okay? Because I, I was reading uh, two or three of them, and they have very good answers. Okay, so let's look at them. For some reason, I'm kind of slow uh, when sharing. Okay, here we are. Mm -hmm. Mass production. Tan -tan -tan. Let's see. Lorena says production line is a sequence of steps to product to produce one product of, in an efficient way. Okay, mass production is the production of the quantity of products used uh, using a production line standardized, standardized employing resources efficiently. Okay, the point of the line production is to increase the productivity behind to repetition and sharing the process of production of a product, right? Uh, or the production process of a product. I keep okay. Distributing tasks can help to increase production, okay? To here and to increase, there you go. Mm -hmm. Now let's see. A ver, todos enviando sus respuestas, por favor. Su participación es importante. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver quién me hizo acá, production line. Is a sequential operation established in a factory where components are assembled to make a finished article or where materials are put through a refining process to produce an end product that is, that is suitable for on work consumption. Okay. Yeah, obviously is sequential. Yeah, that's what you three said and uh, sequential uh, uh, one task after the other task to complete or to complement the first task or they can be separated and then there is an assembled operation okay so yes mm -hmm. like a stage of assembly mm -hmm. Okay, people, so now if we say that production line is a, a sequence of operations, a sequence of tasks distributed in a whole process to uh, make a complete product or an end product, then we have to think that this is in order to increase our production, okay, in order to be more efficient. And um, because we are competing with other companies that maybe they are producing the same product that I am producing, okay? So let's go, oh, here we've got another one. In a production line, the activities are distributed within the production process to make the activities more efficient. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. So, production line, it's a sequence of steps with the purpose of creating a specific product. Great. Mass production is the production of large quantities of a product. Oh yeah, production in mass or mass production. When you do something for a lot of time, you gain experience and improve your skills. Some activities can be done individually or in groups, but it's, it depends on the product, depends on. Okay, it depends on the product. Mass production is a manufacturing process 
It is. Aquí sería it is when. It is when goods are produced in large quantities, quantity mm, with a production line. Yes, correct. As a sequence of activities established to make an article or an item, yes. Um, a line of machines and workers in the factory that a uh, product moves a long while. It is being built or produced, correct, I would. Mm -hmm. The production line is the art, how uh, the raw material is created with the goal to create a perfect, uh, process it. I mean, the raw material is processed it with the goal to create a perfect product as possible. Um, it can be, right? However, the mass production is the process to create a product so they were following the product line. Okay. Mm -hmm. Production line set up operation carried out in the process of making a product. Okay. A ver. Ahora que ya los escribimos, uh, for example, uh, Ulises says, when a company has product line, like food and people become experts in their activity, each person becomes an expert in activity they perform every day. That's correct. That's correct. Because they specialize in the same activity time after time. So they become experts. That's correct. Okay, ahora que ya las escribimos, Vamos a decir, okay, so I'm going to ask, mm, Mr. Salvador, what is production line? What do you think it is? José Salvador? Yes. Mm -hmm. A uh, production line is a set of sequential operation established for to produce uh, para producir algo. To, to produce something. To produce something. Okay. Wilber, what is production line? Uh, production lines is the sequences, uh, the raw materials uh, is following uh, the, with the goal to finish the 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 the, the, the finished product. Okay, thank you, Osman. What do you think it is? Production line. What is it? It is a sequence of the steel with the purpose of creating a specific product. All right. Mm -hmm. Nelson, what is it? Production line. It could be a group of products um, called call it uh, a star product of the company to produce a star product okay Como el producto mm. estrella de la compañía. oh okay this is very important guys look uh there uh, are two different. terms completely different one of the other one is production line and the other is product line Okay, production line is the process of making the product and product line are all the products that we produce under one brand, okay? Under one brand. And in the product line, I have a star product, okay? Product line in the product, it, completely different, okay? Esas son dos cosas muy diferentes. Producción, uh, la, la línea de producción, es el proceso de crear el producto. Y la línea de productos son precisamente los productos que ofrecemos bajo nuestra marca. Dentro de la product line es que tenemos nuestro producto estrella, ¿verdad? En production line mmm, es donde hacemos todos los productos. Okay. okay. So we Thank produce you. them. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So we have to be careful. One is production line, production, and the other is product line, product line. Okay, people. So uh, let's listen to Christina. Christina, please tell us, what do you think production line is? Line. Production line. Ah, uh, the production line is the process of creating the product um, for the best results in the team. Okay, mm -hmm. the best results. Okay, mm, with the production team. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. There we have assemblers, we have cutters, we have, I don't know, we can say a lot of things. Yeah, they, they have different activities, different stages. Okay, then Edwin Antonio, could you please tell me what is production line? Yes, a uh, production line for me. It's a uh, set of sequence of, of operation in a factory where the components of the materials are assembling to make a finished item. Great, Edwin. Great definition. Correct. Rafael, can you tell us what do you think it is? Production line, what is it? Um, for me, it's a, uh, let's um, let say. Uh, it's a line of people uh, doing one, action for produce uh, uh, a product. Okay, great. Correct. That's correct. Uh, it's a line, right? Because it follows one to the other, right? So first you have to do something. A person is in charge of doing this. Then the, we have another person. So it's a line, right? And what did you see in the video? Can you comment about the video? What were these people doing? I see people with a lot of skills in, in the area. So for example, I, I, I see a person a chopper vegetable or something like that, but very faster and another person doing uh, different things, but always with a high skill. <laughs> yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Very smart. Very mm -hmm. yeah. able, right? Mm -hmm. They show their abilities. What else did you see? A ver, Eulise, what did you see in the video? I saw the video, uh, some people um, were, were doing a different activity, a specific um, cooking. Cooking, yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, were cooking food and could, uh, uh, I don't know, I don't remember. I don't Cutting know. vegetables? Yes, a vegetable. Okay, that's chopping vegetables or peeling off, right? Peeling off. Mm -hmm. And how do you say pegar? Stick. Tick? S stick. 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 Stick, like stickers? No, it's stick. pegando ladrillo, pia una persona pegando ladrillo. Oh, that's building. Building, building. Mm -hmm. construyendo. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, building. With bricks. 
Bricks. Bricks, ajá. Bricks. Bricks, uh, ladrillos. Team. Bricks. Bricks, ah, mm -hmm. uh, yes. A uh, building. With bricks. With bricks. I don't know. I got to see. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, that's correct. And, and okay. you liked it. And you liked it. Ajá. Okay. A ver, entre todas las personas que dieron, ¿cuál les impresionó más? A ver. For me, the most impressive was the bartender girl because she threw up the bottle and catch up with the leg and serve the, the drink. Okay, okay. Yeah, really, that's that's uh, impressive. Yeah, that's impressive for sure. For it sure. was very impressive, <laughs> yeah. Yes. And what do you think this people is? Can you describe this kind of people? Can you describe this kind of people? Let's say some adject adjectives to describe these people. Are they, or are smart. they? <laughs> uh -huh. It's very smart. Very smart, okay. They Creative. Experienced. Experienced, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh, as a result, very fast. So they are wrestled. Okay, very fast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are fast. But mostly they developed, they developed a system how to do their job in the best way they can do it. Because maybe they want to produce a a, um, an, a, a big or a large amount of that product. And maybe the money they receive is according to the quantity they produce, okay? So imagine, va, imaginémonos, un albañil normalmente, ¿verdad? Nosotros tenemos esa idea y es un ejemplo clásico. Si el albañil le cobra por obra o si el albañil le cobra por todo el proceso, eh, producto entregado, ¿cómo le conviene más a usted? ¿Cómo va a ser más rápido? ¿Obra entregada, obra pagada? ¿O le paga el día? ¿Cómo prefiere hacer usted para que le entregue rápido? Por obra. That's a problem. Is that a problem? Why? Yes. How come? Because, for example, I... Uh, if you pay for pay for hour, uh, they don't do it a better job. Uh, they only be more faster. And the opposite is a problem too, because if you pay for for work, I don't know. Yeah, for work. If, mm -hmm. if you pay for work, um. No, es al revés. Uh -huh. Si usted paga por hora, uh -huh. ellos van a ser más lentos. Y, y if you pay for work, they are more faster, but the work is no, no es muy bueno. Okay. Es uh -huh. Okay. Uh, is there any other opinion? Yeah. Any other opinion? Uh -huh. For me, it's better paid for all the work because if you pay for hours, uh, they make the job uh, slow. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you pay per hour, they stay more time. Okay. Yes, yes that's true. That's true. I have lived that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, people. So if uh, if the money or the income depends on the productivity, right, or in the product, uh, the quantity of product, then people is going to work efficiently, okay? 
Uh, but if you just, um, if you don't establish a good plan of production, maybe you are going to fail. Maybe you are going to fail, okay? So uh, let's go to see some words. Ah, no, first we are going to talk about some, um, some other things that we want to consider. Because when we want to produce something, we have to be sure of all the features and also the materials and maybe the um, components or the parts or I don't know, uh, smellings, uh, fragrances, whatever you want to say, features, size. Mm, I don't know, any other kind of feature, visible features or tangible fe features of the product must be defined before, before the production, okay? The production process and before to establish a product line, okay? We have to go to the first stage prototype, okay? We need to prototype. So let's think about these questions we've got. Oh, okay, Wilbe? Okay, no problem. Uh, imagine, imagine now, one second. What does prototype mean? What does prototype mean? mean mm -hmm. what does prototype mean Okay then, Miss Glenda, could you please read the first question? Okay. What does prototype mean? Mm -hmm. What does prototype mean? Who has any idea who wants to share? What does prototype mean? It's like a like uh, the own meaning of the product or the company. Mm -hmm. Maybe, uh, well, I guess prototype is the first price for a product or uh, one kind of service. Is the, the first, um, I don't know how to say that. Well, the first price. <laughs> okay, the first type. Try, 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 try. Okay. Okay. Maybe tier one. Mm -hmm. Is the first product created um uh, a partir mm -hmm. from um, from the idea to the product? Okay. Mm -hmm. Some example of the real product, but with less characteristics. Okay, less characteristics? Because, because you're thinking about prototype. software. Are or you thinking? less functions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher. All right, tell me, tell me, Sarah. Is, uh, is an incomplete version of a product an incomplete incomplete mm -hmm. incomplete why incomplete 
Solo es una, una muestra, un ejemplo, no está terminado el producto. Okay, it's an example. It's just to show mm -hmm, what it should be. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Anyone else? Yes, me. I think the prototype is a low fidelity of the final product uh, before the, the final production with with the with the specifics but in I I I don't know how do you say but I think it's in low fidelity. Mm -hmm. Low fidelity because is it a sketch or it's just a drawing or it's not yeah, created it, it, yet? It's like a it's like a sketch, mm -hmm. but when well well in my case when I when I when I talk about prototype, prototype uh, can be uh, let me say can be ah puede ser uh, different things like in in a sketch or in a in a product uh, that you can uh, touch okay mm -hmm. or interact with that okay mm -hmm. but in the low fidelity you said okay. yeah no, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's not completed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's correct. It's correct. Uh, it's a one of the ways of prototyping in low fidelity or high fidelity too. Okay. So mm, we have the two different ways to prototype. Okay, then. Um, Christina is raising your hand. So it's raising her hand. So please, Christina, tell us. Okay. A prototype is the example of the product uh, which allows necessary uh, change um, change with we which we um, do not see when create the idea okay good uh-huh that's correct because that's the purpose of prototyping you have to prototype something or to make a model just to visualize what you haven't seen before when functioning or in real conditions or in simulated conditions. It's, it's true. There you can find the failures. There you can find the flaws, right? Because we want to produce a flawless product. Okay, then, thank you very much, Christina. And it is an example, correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. So what type of new products, in your opinion, require um, the building of a prototype before mass production? What type of new products, in your opinion, require the building of prototype before mass production? Any tech company? Mm -hmm. Any for tech me, company? For me, all the products uh, with a consume maybe, but all the products need to uh, make the proofs mm -hmm. for the product. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Samples, right? Samples. Good. Mm -hmm. Maybe all the products. So let's make a list. Now, of free products, please write them on the chat. Write them on the chat. Free products that you think they need to, mm, I mean, the companies need to build a prototype to visualize the flaws or to spot the, the flaw. In my opinion, teacher. Mm -hmm. um, Where um, a time mm -hmm. could be motorcycle because uh, it's a, a prototype about a mold 
mm -hmm. a different motorcycle mm -hmm. of the product because in the future uh could be a, a new prototype with for new, example with new features mm -hmm. yes Go for ahead. example for me yes I will listen. for example the motorcycles okay for the motorcycle for me is, is a prototype it's, it's okay. a new prototype they need to build yes. a prototype okay yes mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. a different place good thank you Eulis. okay raul says ipods and apps devices right mm -hmm. anna lorena says Drinks, cars, drugs, mm -hmm. medicines, right? Not only by drugs, but medicines. Mm -hmm. They need a prototype. The food, correct, Linda. Electronic products, yes. Buildings, yes. You need a maqueta, right? You need a sample, like a model. A model, mm -hmm. good. Ahora son renders, ¿verdad? Ok, cell phone, televisions, yes, shoes, correct. Mm -hmm. Good, Nelson. Thank you, Hosman. Mm -hmm. Electrodomestics, yes. Eso serían... Um, Households, right? And appliances, home appliances, mm -hmm. web pages, incorrect, cars. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, guys, does your company make use of prototypes? Your company, the company that you work for. Do they create prototypes or give samples? Yes. Okay, can you tell us just a little bit about it? So it's a manufacturing company. Mm -hmm. and, and in the moment, uh, the last year I was uh, in front of the development department and we have to do many samples and we start with the prototype a product after we after uh, the client uh, let us know about if they need someone sample or the prototype could be a sample for production. Okay, good, good. Uh-huh, and you said it's a tangible product? Is that a tangible product? Sorry? Is it a tangible product or is it software? It's a tangible, tangible, tangible? Yes, it's a tangible. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So you see the product as it should be. Okay, great. Now, guys, let's think about this vocabulary, this words. Now we know what it is prototype. Prototype could be the action to prototype, but it can be an object to. It can be a prototype, okay? It could be the process or the action to make the prototype, like to prototype. Okay, and I can conjugate that verb like prototyping, prototyped, have prototyped. Okay, so to prototype, prototype is a verb. A prototype, the prototype is one thing, an object. 
Okay, then now we, we know what mass production is, right? What is mass production, guys? What is it? Mass production? Mass production, what is it? This one. Production a big scale when produce a big quantity of products. Very good, large scale, yes, big scale. Okay then, now, let's see, this is very important because we need to know the specifications of the product, specifications, 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 specifications. What is that? What am I referring to when I say specifications? Is the requirement to the product? Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Yes, the requirements from the client, right? Because I'm producing for someone or for something. Those are the specification qualities, functions, features. Okay, but now let's see that we have another word here. Distinctive, I'm sorry, distinctive feature. Distinctive features. What is that? What is a distinctive feature? What idea do you have? On a specific characteristic of the product? A very specific one, yes. That makes my product unique or makes my product different from the competitors. Okay, so if we think about the specifications and the distinctive features of a product, Maybe we are thinking, um, okay, don't think about a product. Let's think about objects. What is that distinctive feature of the sun, of that sun in the sky? What is the distinctive feature? How you recognize it? The light. Mm-hmm. The color yellow. Okay. Mm -hmm. The chime. Again. The chime. Shine. Okay. Sunshine. Mm -hmm. But mostly. Is it round? I'm sorry. Uh, redondo. Round. It is round. Okay. But the most distinctive one. It's what. <laughs> It's hot, okay? It's hot. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the moon? What do you think about the moon? Is it hot or is it cold? What, what do you know about it? Uh-huh. Tiene que haber una característica que distingue a uno de los dos, ¿verdad? O a los dos. En este caso, la luna, el sol. El sol decimos, cuando yo pienso en que hay mucho sol, ¿qué pienso? Ah, it's hot. Okay, it's hot. But if I think about the moon, it's related with the night. And maybe we think about the cold weather. We think about the cold um, um Temperature, temperature, because it's at night. But the moon, per se, it has its own temperature. Scientifically, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, scientifically, I don't know. But I think the distinctive feature of the sun is the hot or the heat. Okay, it is hot or is the heat. Okay, now let's think about what's the distinctive feature of Glass, the distinctive feature of glass. What do you think when you think about glass? Fragile, right? It's fragile. Transparent. Yeah. Transparent, yes, transparent. Mm -hmm. What about when you think about water? 
what's the distinctive feature of water? It's liquid. Okay, it's liquid. Uh huh. It has without, to be fresh. Without flavor. Okay, Water. flavorless. Uh huh. Healthy. Good. Healthy. Okay, but the distinctive. I mean, we are thinking about the features um, of appearance, the appealing of the product. Okay, appearance. Yeah, like traits of the product. Uh, not necessary attributes. Attributes could be uh, those characteristics that are intangible or that are not vis uh, visual. Um, so that's why I think if it is transparent, flavorless, and when you hear water, you feel fresh, okay? That, that's what I think. I don't know what you think, but distinctively, I think that's a very good feature. Okay, now. What do you think about what's the distinctive feature of fire? Fire. Temperature. 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 High temperature. Yeah. Uh huh. So it's red. That's red. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's damage. Okay. Good. Dangerous. Dangerous. Mm hmm. Okay, but the distinctive one, cuando le dice el fuego. It burns. Burns, burns. yeah. Fire burns. That's a distinctive feature. Okay, but in the appearance, it's red, it's hot, high temperature. Correct. Okay, now, what do you think it is the distinctive feature of Rafael? Aha, got you guys. A ver, todos pensemos en qué se diferencia Rafael de todos nosotros. What's his distinctive feature? <laughs> uh -huh. Everybody, thinking, thinking. He's white. Okay, white skin. Uh -huh. Unique. Unique, okay. Uh -huh. It's funny. Oh, yes, it's funny. Uh-huh. Has very friendly. Mm -hmm. The mustache. Without mustache or with mustache? Oh. He wears a mustache? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. The mustache. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Ulysses has a mustache too. Vamos a ver. Ulysses, a ver quién más tiene mustache aquí. Vamos a ver. Ulises, Ulises wings. Uh, Ulises, yeah, he's got a thing longer than yours. Uh -huh. Yes. All right, but let's see that specifications is how I or how the customer need this product. What features does it have? That does it has to have? It must be. Cold, it's not, it must be big, small, whatever. Okay, those are the specifications. Okay, what about sketch? Okay, there is that sketch. What idea do you think sketch gives you? Sketch is the, the drawing, previous elaboration of a product. Okay, yes, like a model, but in a drawing. Okay, yes. in a drawing. Okay, mm -hmm, good, like a plan. Uh huh. Good. What about spot any flaw? Spot any flaw? Spot any flaw? When you are prototyping, the purpose is to spot any flaw. Okay? Verificar, definir, detectar, to spot. Okay? Any flaw. Cualquier fire. Okay? Any flaw. No, aquí, pero lo puse como imagen después, pero acá es assemble, ok, assemble, esta es una E, no es una Y, por favor ahí corrigen ustedes, assemble, because assembly is, you know, the mm, gathering of people, ok, but assemble is ensamblar, ok, assemble, assemble. It's a very useful word when we are prototyping.
Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. They say Avengers assemble, they say, right? So something like that. Manufacturing. Manufacturing is a very good term to define when we make a product from the raw materials to transform them, to process them for any kind of process to make a new product, okay, to have a finished product. So now let's see some um, definitions like the production line. Production line is a set of sequential operations established in a factory where components are assembled to make a finished article or where materials are put through a refining process to produce an end product that is suitable for onward consumption. Okay, consumption. A ver, ¿quién quiere leer este? Uno, uno, no todos, no. I can try. <laughs> okay, yes, please, Wilber, go ahead. A production line is a set of sequential operation established in a factory where components are assembled to make a finished article or where material are put through a refining process to produce a net product that is uh, suitable for onward consumption. Okay, suitable. 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 Mm -hmm. suitable. suitable. And the other word, consumption. Consumption. Consumo. Consumption. Teacher, what is the meaning of for onward consumption. Okay, uh, to consume. That's that's the um, a, the real meaning. But allow me to give you because that's like an a, it's an adjective. But let me let me give you one definition. Okay. Like continuously or something. Um, word. <clears throat> okay. Uh, en realidad es para el consumo. Así. Ese on word es como eh, dando la idea que sería la siguiente etapa. Okay. Como lo que sigue es el consumo. Yeah, for onward consumption or as a result, okay? As a result, the consumption, okay? Mm. Something like that. ¿Se usan siempre juntas esas palabras? No. Uh, onward is one word, okay? They okay. are together in one word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's suitable. Suitable, ya sabemos, ¿verdad? Es como... Eh, propias que ya están listas, ¿verdad? Para el consumo o para que estén listas para el consumo. Vamos a ver um, esta palabra, components. Tendemos a decir components. Es components. Uh -huh. Porque tenemos esa palabra nosotros en español, decimos componentes, está todavía más fácil, ¿verdad? Pero es components. Uh, esta palabra, a ver, todos, abren su micrófono y decimos esta palabra, assemble. 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 Correct. Mm -hmm. And then refining. 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 And product. And product. Yeah. And, uh, uh -huh. No product. 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 In the same way, production. Production. Okay. Product. Da, da. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. So now let's see some examples. How to use distinctive feature in some other examples, okay? Specification, distinctive features. So let's see this uh, sentence that's using the term uh, distinctive feature. The abolition of existing property relations is not, perdón, I'm sorry, I thought it was in the, 
The abolition of existing property relations is not at all a distinctive feature of communism, okay? The abolition of existing property relations is not at all a distinctive feature of communism. A ver, ¿de qué estamos hablando en esta oración? What are we talking about in that sentence? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A feature of communism, okay? A feature of communism. But this thing, this, I'm sorry, distinctive feature is como una cualidad, um, una cualidad específica de el comunismo, ¿verdad? Pero me dice que no es solamente eso y no es exclusiva esta distinctive feature del comunismo. Um, porque existe el socialism, okay? existe el socialismo también, and they have also the abolition of existing property. So it's not only for communism, but for socialism or for any other kind of thing that we uh, don't want to talk about. But let's see. A distinctive feature of the terrier is loyalty and courtesy to strangers. What are we talking about here? ¿De qué habla esta segunda oración? Vamos a ver. Talking about the dogs. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a breed. Uh -huh. It's a breed of dogs. Yes, terrier, terrier. Mm -hmm. A distinctive feature is loyalty and courtesy to strangers. Teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you say rasa? Breed, breeds. Uh, can you write that? B-R-E-E-D, B-R-E-E-D. Okay. Just give me one second, I will write it down here. Oops. Thank you. Like this. Breathe. Here. Okay, let's read the third one. ¿Quién quiere leer la tercera? En una velocidad normal, sin detenerse palabra tras palabra. Vamos. Una consulta, mm -hmm. perdón. Tell me. Con respecto a la palabra breed, eh, que significa raza, uh -huh, uh -huh. pero está relacionada solo con los animales. Eh, pues yo creería que sí, tendría que investigárselo, porque de personas sería races. Uh -huh. Por eso existe el racism. Okay. Sí. Uh -huh. Ok, gracias. All right. Okay, who wants to read the third one? Glenda. Okay, please, Glenda, go ahead. The third one? Yes, please. While watching the slide subjects broke down the most distinctive feature of each slide. Okay, what are we talking about there in that sentence, guys? ¿De qué estamos hablando ahí? ¿Cuál es el sujeto? What's the subject there? A slight subject. Slides? Or Sub subjects? Subject. Subjects, yeah, the subjects. Correct, because it says, while watching. Ah, entonces aquí hemos quitado un sujeto, ¿verdad? Yes. Mm -hmm. ¿Quién estaba viendo? The subjects, right? Mm -hmm. There you go. Los sujetos, pues. Sujetos, pero in person. People. Okay. While watching the slide, subjects were down the most distinctive feature of each slide. Okay. Thank you. Now, what about the fourth one? Who wants to read the number four? The washing machine. Mm -hmm. We're watching that shit because that. Mm -hmm. 
this is not going over here because they, mm -mm, yeah, no, it's the end of the Slow. Let's see. Trimming this. Fits and period. There you go. So, what is the distinctive feature of this washing machine? DSP in effectiveness. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. DSP in effectiveness. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. But it says in addition to the easy to handle retract retractable drum, uh -huh, is the speed and effectiveness when you wash your bed sheets. Okay. Uh -huh. So we have two distinctive features. Okay. But this one is in addition to this one, okay? So the retractable drum. Have you ever seen a washer machine with a retractable drum? ¿Alguna vez han visto eso? Have you ever seen? No? I invented it. <laughs> okay, se me ocurrió así. Eh, pues yo nunca he visto, pero a mí me gustaría que mi máquina de mi, mi, mi lavadora, como es bien profundo, ¿verdad? Para, y como yo soy gordita y tengo mi panza, me cuesta doblarme y sacar la ropa, ¿sí? Entonces me gustaría que hubiera una palanca abajo y que subiera el <ríe> fondo del, del tambor, ¿verdad? O del... La, Pile, ¿verdad? De, 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 la, de la máquina y subiera todo. Eso me encantaría. Entonces, se me ocurrió una retractable drum washer machine, ¿ok? No sé si ustedes han visto una y me la recomienden, pero quisiera algo así. <ríe> ok, guys. <ríe> ya ven que la teacher, pero así. Es que todos tenemos necesidades, ¿verdad? Y de repente surge. La necesidad es la madre de la invención. Ok, tipo. Bien, vámonos entonces al manual. En el manual tenemos una conversación de... Eh, eh, precisamente eso. Eh, pensando en cómo eh, hacer ese proceso de prototype. Ok, to prototype. And they are... Uh, um, Talking about a new product. So let's read this conversation and then we practice the conversation. Okay. Tom and Diana are discussing ideas to begin prototyping a new bicycle model. We are going to read the conversation and then we are going to practice. The X accelerator, the X accelerator has been like to be produced now. We need to work on the prototype. Great. I think our best choice is to hire steel masters so they build a good prototype to help us spot any flaw we haven't identified in the design. I agree, Tom. The prototype will help our manufacturers to be very accurate with the design of the handlebars, the frame and the saddle, which are the innovative features of the accelerator. Good point. Mm -hmm. In addition, the prototype will ensure communication is clear. They will know exactly what we want, totally. Then I'll work on the sketch of the parts and you might want to start with the description and specifications of each. So still masters, start working. All right. I will read it slower. The accelerator has screen light to be produced. Now we need to work on the prototype. Great. I think our best choice is to hire steel masters. So they build a good prototype to help us spot any flaw 
where we haven't identified in the design. I agree, Tom. The prototype will help our manufacturers to be very accurate with the design of the handle bars, the frame, and the saddle, which are the innovative features of the accelerator. Good point. In addition, the prototype will ensure communication is clear. They will know exactly what we want, totally. Then I'll work on the sketch of the parts and you might want to start with that description and specifications of each. So, steel masters start work. All right. Okay, please, uh, Ms. Karen and Mr. Edwin, please role play the conversation. The accelerator has really need to be produced. No, we need to work on the prototype. Right. I think our best choice in to hear and master so they build a good prototype to help us spot any flow we haven't identified in the design. I agree, Tom. The prototype will help our manufacturers to be very accurate with the design of the handlebars, the front on the saddle, which are the innovative feature of the its elevator. Good point. In addition, the prototype will ensure communication is clear. They will know exactly what we want. Totally, I think. I will work on the sketch of the part and you need want to start with the description and the specification to edge. So, Street Master, start work. All right. Great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Thank you. Um, is there any questions so far about the vocabulary in the conversation? I have one. Tell me. Anyone? What is the meaning of steel masters in this case? Ah, steel masters, los maestros de los cero. Okay, pero es una compañía, okay, es una compañía, steel uh, masters. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like a toy? Like? Like a toy? A could be, yeah, it could be. Uh -huh. Because they want to produce a bicycle, and obviously it's a toy, <laughs> yeah, or it's an object to play or yeah to practice a, a sport so yeah steel masters could be mm -hmm, a company of toys pero yo lo veo más de metales mm -hmm. galvanizado eh? mm -hmm. como aquí le dijéramos a galvaniza que hace techos vaya no ustedes las bicicletas nah just kidding just kidding, but it's, it's it's just a name. It's just a name and it's related to the metallurgy thing, okay? Because it's a steel, steel, acero. Okay, guys, so, veamos entonces. ¿Hay alguna otra pregunta? Is there any other question? Hay una palabra. Uh-huh. Eh, dice, la que dice saddle. Saddle, el asiento. Eh, pero es un, un asiento específico o... De bicicleta. Uh -huh. Es el, el asiento de la bicicleta. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. 
For example, the Saro eh, aplica también para automóvil. Mm -hmm. No sé, pregunto. ¿sabes? No, that seats. No, that seats. seats. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Let me just see this. Only for bicycle. Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. Saddle for bicycles or for these. Um, mm, Motorcycle. Exercises machine. Uh, es que es, vaya, en español lo traducen como sillín. <laughs> o sea, no decimos sillín nosotros en El Salvador. Le decimos el asiento, por eso tenemos esa... Eh, o, eh, no tenemos la idea de que sea diferente ¿verdad? asiento no eh, las saros es como una montura ok es como un asiento eh, para algo que yo normalmente o oh, es un asiento to ride ok to ride yeah a motorcycle too a motorcycle has saddle too mm -hmm. yes Something you can write on. Yes. Okay, people. Is there any other question? No questions? No more questions. Bien, entonces, let's discuss these questions. What are two reasons Diana and Tom mentioned to build a prototype of the accelerator? Two reasons to build a prototype. Mm -hmm. Number one. Because they have a green light to produce the product. Okay. Uh -huh. but green we, light. Okay. So they have green light means they have the able, okay, el aval, para que empiecen a producir, ¿verdad? O le dijeron, sí, ya después del test eh, de los focus group que hicimos, sí, vamos a producir este, este new bicycle. Ahora, ¿por qué creen, según la conversación, que ellos deciden hacer un prototype o construir un prototype? Because they, these help are, bueno, they factors, manufacturers to be acquired with the design. Like this? Uh-huh, of the mm -hmm. handlebars. Okay. Mm -hmm. To be accurate with the design. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, veamos las dos. Las dos serían, la primera, to spot any flaw. We haven't identified in the design. Esa sería la primera razón. Y la segunda razón para hacer un prototipo or to prototype is uh, to ensure communication is clear and they will know exactly what they want, okay? Well, what their, what's the design according, the, what, what are the needs or the specifications. Entonces, para que no haya error, ¿verdad? Uh, to ensure communication is clear and to know exactly what they want. Eso serían las dos razones y esos son los dos objetivos de prototyping. Okay. Vamos a ver la siguiente. What are the distinctive features of the new product? The distinctive features of these new products. Rain and the sun in the handlebars. Okay. Exactly. Okay. The complete design, right? The complete design. Okay. Uh huh. The handlebars, the frame, and the sun. Now, what do you think um, are the two tasks that Diana and Tom have to do before ordering the prototype to Seal Masters? What two tasks will Diana and Tom do before 
ordering the prototype to still master it. Vamos a leer. Two things they must do. Mm -hmm. Work on the sketch of the part. Mm -hmm. Sketch. Good. Mm -hmm. One. And then? Description and specification. Correct. The description and specifications of each. All right. That's what we need to do with our product. Okay. Y así vamos a hacer un a poner como en orden de importancia qué sería lo primero o lo más relevante en las ventajas de hacer un prototipo. Rank the ad advantages of prototyping from most relevant, is number one, to least relevant, number six. Discuss your ranking with a partner, okay? Todos dando su opinión. The first one, who wants to read the first one? Obtain more details to describe the product more effectively. Verify the functionality of the product. For example, identify flaws that were not foreseen in the design stage. Vamos a ver la número tres. Review initial product shapes or branding images. Vamos a la siguiente. Elicit feedback from customers or early adopters. Assess the performance of various materials. Ensure potential manufacturers are capable of making the prototypes, sorting the parts, putting them together, etc. Okay, ¿qué sería lo primero eh, de ver en este um, proceso de prototyping? ¿Cómo decirlo? La primera ventaja de hacer un prototipo, ¿cuál sería? Verify the functionality of the product. Ok, eso sería como lo más relevante o lo más importante de todo, ¿verdad? Ok, one, ok. Vamos a ver, ¿cuál sería la siguiente cosa? Importante también, pero después de esa, vamos. Obtain more details to describe the product more effectively. Good. Mm -hmm. What will be next? In advantages. Elicit feedback from customers or early adopters. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, that will be in the process. I don't know. I think so. Mm -hmm. After after of 10 more details to describe the product, you think elicit feedback from customers or early adopters. Maybe I said the performance of various materials. Oh, okay. That will be another one. Yeah, it could be. Mm -hmm. And what about, okay. Yeah, I think it is the next one. Because before looking for someone who is going to make it. Yeah. Ah, this is number three. I'm sorry. Okay, what will be the next one? I'm sure potential manufacturers. Okay, great. And what do you think is the next one? Policy feedback. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And then we have this other one to review. Uh, after the results, right? After having the prototype, we can uh, review okay, the initial product shapes or running images and how it can get better. Oh, yes, you're right. Okay, people, the next activity we are going to do tomorrow will be this. We want to start but making a list of features as the most specifically pos possible, okay? Of the features of the product you are designing, okay? And also the materials that you are going to use, who is going to produce it, etc. okay? Vamos a, a ir a esa otra etapa, ¿verdad? Ya el día de mañana vamos a ver eso. Okay, people. Ahora voy a pasar lista. Everybody, please turn your camera on. Today is Monday, April the 17th. Lo voy a ir diciendo rapidito. El día de hoy le toca la session one on one a Nelson. Okay. Are you ready, Nelson? Okay. Ana Lorena Lobato Arellano. Present. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martínez. Present. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Present. Carlos Eduardo Torres Durán. Present. Okay. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. No vino Carlos Ernesto. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Cristina Edith Ramos Ríos. Present. Okay. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Present. Glenda Josefina Toledo Leiva. Present. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here. Okay. Osman Atilio Serrano. Present. Karen Lisset Sánchez Present. Castro. Present teacher. Rita Morán Morán. Present. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Here. Rafael Alexander Cerna Díaz. Present teacher. Raúl Ernesto González. Present teacher. Sanel Carmen Enríquez Flores. Tito Pérez Méndez. Present. José Miguel Torres Hernández. Present. Ok, yo solo quiero animarlos a que no falten de aquí para allá. Hagan todo lo posible por estar en todas las sesiones. Los 120 minutos, por favor, va a haber lluvia. Acuérdense, hay que mantener cargados nuestros devices por cualquier situación que nos toque estar sin electricidad y conectados con datos. Por favor, estemos listos, ¿verdad? para no perder la continuidad. Y por favor, los que no se han logrado poner al día, por favor, pónganse al día. Hay varios que me tienen con 80 la eh, sección 1 y recuerdo que ha de haber sido por la tarea 1.5. Así que por favor, vean el final de las sesiones. Ahí hemos estado haciendo esa actividad para que ustedes saquen el 100, ¿verdad? La idea es que ustedes lo aprendan. No es poncharlos. La, lo que yo quiero es que lo repasen y lo aprendan. Luego tenemos en la unidad 2, hay varios que me han quedado con 80. Eh, creo que es por la última que era del reading. Lo leímos acá. Usted puede ir a ese video y escuchar la lectura si usted gusta, ¿verdad? Para leerle y ayudarle en pronunciación, en lo que usted quiera. Y luego contéstela, por favor, y envíela. El examen, por favor, complétenmelo los que no lo han completado, ¿ok? Los que se han quedado con 75, por favor, vayan y ha, con 80, perdón, hagan la otra parte para que les salga el 100. Si hay alguna duda, alguna consulta, yo estoy a la orden, ¿ok? Bueno, see you tomorrow, have a very good night. Bye, bye. Bye, bye see you tomorrow. See you. Good night. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, good night, have a good rest. Okay, Nelson, here we are. Is there anything I can help you with?
¿Hay alguna cosa con que quiera que yo le ayude? ¿O le... más bien eh, le apoye? ¿O vamos bien con el vocabulario? ¿Vamos bien con la gramática? Sí, está bien, la verdad. Uh -huh. eh, todo está bien, quizás ahorita lo que me ha como impactado es eh, el trabajo. Oh. Eh, lo cansado he uh -huh. venido arrastrando eso y esto eh, uh -huh. ha sido bien complicado uh -huh. entonces uh -huh. a veces me eh, ponen a hacer a veces me llaman en la madrugada y es como que ajá entonces está 24-7 de llamar no lo logro eh, al principio me costó porque o sea tras que es un tema muy desconocido ya como ya lo mencionó. Nuevo, ajá. Porque créame que no me lo esperaba. <risa> eh, pero aparte de eso, eh, no he tenido el, el, el enfoque, no he estado enfocado del todo, porque he tenido aquí el trabajo. Entonces, si no estoy como dedicado, siento que no, no. Entonces, aparte, vaya, ya de por sí me iba a costar, pero si no estoy como <risa> enfocado, es como que... Aún más. Sí, comprendo. Ajá. Comprendo. Pero en cuanto a tareas, ¿ha tenido alguna dificultad que donde usted diga, en esto tengo que enfocarme para superar? Tareas, las tareas de la, del portal. De la o... plataforma, sí. Uh -huh. mm, he conocido varias eh, cosas que no conozco o que no conocía. Y varias nuevas palabras, porque muchas, por ejemplo, el ICIT, uh -huh. es nueva, o sea, nunca la había escuchado. ¿Qué? Lo que me queda, digamos, con estas palabras, que las voy anotando, es cuándo usar esta y por qué la, no la otra. Uh -huh. Porque uh -huh. según veo, el ICIT es como obtener. Mm, no, el ICIT en este contexto que lo estamos usando es obtener, o sea, sacarle a usted o que usted me provea, ¿ya? Sí, obtener. Ajá, obtener. No sé si no se escuchó así. Uh, sí, es obtener, o sea, obtener, porque eh, si yo something, estoy eh, sacándole a usted las respuestas, ¿ya? O eh, obteniendo de usted diferentes cosas, por ejemplo, si yo quiero saber opiniones, I elicit from the audience. Yeah? Eh, si yo quiero saber las respuestas a una pregunta, I elicit the answer from the audience. Ok. Entonces, vaya, este tipo de palabras que vaya, tú desconocía, eh, ya me juegan con las que ya conocía y con las que chocan. Sí. Entonces, yo digo, o oh, es más, más eh, polite usar esta otra palabra. Porque entiendo que a medida vamos avanzando, o sea, sí, hay palabras que sustituyen a las otras. Y a uno va como más, hablando más eh, apropiado, más polite. Uh -huh. Hay como eh, adjetivos que uno no conocía. Eh, como es, eh, llega un momento que dejamos de usar very, ¿verdad? y empezamos a usar adjetivos. Exacto. Y ya hacen el, el match de, hey, deja de usar very, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. y eso lo he leído mucho también. Entonces, ese tipo de cosas ya vienen entrando en estos módulos. Yes. Y yo digo, ah, o sea, será correcto, digamos, usar illicit en lugar de, de get y algo, no sé. También, también, sí. porque acuérdense que existen synonyms, eh, son Ajá. sinónimos, ¿verdad? Son sinónimos. Y acuérdense que a veces pueden tener un significado, como en español, ¿verdad? Nosotros podemos usar una gama de sinónimos para expresar eh, casi que lo mismo, pero que le damos vuelta gramaticalmente para que suene bien, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí. Eso es lo único que hay que tener, ir teniendo el cuidado, pero se los, puede, los sinónimos se usan casi que indistintamente. Puede ser que en algún momento con algún nombre no pega o con alguna acción no pega ese verbo, pero es muy escaso y son casos bien específicos. Así que usted úsela, nomás aprende una palabra, métala, métala. Y le voy a decir un chiste, pero, o sea, este es chiste, ¿verdad? Dice okay, que, sí. es que, porque 
por su buena actitud, ¿verdad? Y porque también usted es divertido. Dice que, bueno, <ríe> en, en el campo usted sabe que hay unas palabras que nosotros en la ciudad no conocemos. O en la ciudad, sí. pues, también tenemos palabras que en el campo no se conocen. Sí. Entonces, póngale que vino de visita a una señora, ¿verdad? Que vino a trabajar y echaba, digamos, aquí en la, en la ciudad, ¿verdad? Y se uh -huh. ponía a trabajar y todo. Cuando llegó a su lugar de origen, pues ella quería presumir de su, de su léxico nuevo, ¿verdad? De la ciudad. Uh -huh. Y entonces no hallaba ella cómo hacer para que sonara la palabra y para usar la palabra y que vieran que ella sabía palabras nuevas. Uh -huh. Estaban desgranando el maíz, ¿verdad? Y de repente aparece una gallina por ahí. Y le dice, che, gallina sin embargo, le dice. <ríe> o sea, sí. nada que ver el sin embargo. Sí. Ese es un cuento de mi abuelito. Ese es un cuento de mi abuelito. Pero, eh, <ríe> o sea, <risa> hace el ejemplo de que a veces nosotros no sabemos la palabra, sí. pero hay que usarla. ¿Sabe que Ya después de eso, pues la muchacha tuvo que haber aprendido <ríe> qué significaba sí. sin embargo realmente. <ríe> sí, correcto. Pero si no lo usa, jamás se va a corregir. Jamás. Entonces sí, usted le úselo. Le el punto, yeah. le capté el punto. Exacto. Y ya. Ajá. Tiene razón, la verdad, porque es como que, no sé, vea. No pues aquí la bien, ventaja bien. es que usted está, vea, y puede decir, no, fíjate, fíjese que eh, en este contexto no aplica por esto y esto. Ajá, ajá. Por lo menos aquí es la ventaja, vea, que usted sí. me puede decir, o por la maestra que tengamos, vea. Pero usted use las palabras que vaya aprendiendo. Ese es mi consejo y es para extender vocabulario. Porque sí. usted aprendió una palabra nueva, sabe lo que significa, pero después se la va a olvidar al día siguiente si no la utilizó. Sí, si no cabal, buscó, ya se me había olvidado. Si no le buscó el match, digamos, de más o menos por dónde va la cosa. Y todavía aún más, enséñele a alguien que usted sabe esa palabra. Y ahí no se le va a olvidar. Créame que así va a ser. Mañana no se le va a olvidar que usted me dijo que la palabra era LSH, ¿verdad? No, pues, no, se, le va, no, le, no se le va a olvidar. Entonces, de, de la misma <risa> manera, usted úsela con quien sea que usted tenga cerca, aunque sea, como decía un maestro mío, fíjese, cuando, eh, bueno, un maestro en mi carrera decía, aunque sea al chucho, hágale las preguntas, pero usted... Algo como que el chucho se las entiende. Y lo bueno es que el chucho no se va a reír de ustedes. Sí, correcto. Pero, o sea, sí, la verdad. La idea tiene... es que usted las diga. Imítelo, dígalo, úselo. Y poco a poco usted va a ir sintiendo. Porque ese es otro detalle. Que nosotros hablamos inglés, pero no lo sentimos. No, los, no es parte de nosotros. Por ejemplo, el ejemplo bárbaro ahorita, mucha gente no entiende lo que hizo la diputada en la asamblea legislativa, ¿verdad? De decir una palabra que para todos los salvadoreños uh, tiene un significado pesado. Entonces no, no lo sienten en, en, en otro idioma no sienten que, o alguien que habla inglés no siente que haya dicho una malcriadeza, o que alguien en inglés me diga una malcriadeza a mí, no la siento. Mm, pasa por alto. ¿Verdad? Entonces, poco a sí. poco, si usted lo usa, pues entonces sí lo va a sentir, ¿verdad? Si usted sí. poco a poco va metiendo el nuevo vocabulario, va a ir sintiendo y después se le va a ir haciendo natural, ¿verdad? Se le va a ir haciendo sí. normal la palabra, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Sí, porque digamos esta, por ejemplo, esta palabra la vimos el viernes y hoy que la volví a ver ahí, yo dije, ah, me acuerdo, pero la noté. Fue como que, ay, yo la noté, dije, porque sí la reconocí que era nueva para mí, pero ya la había notado. Ajá. Justamente porque no la había eh, practicado. Interiorizado, exacto. Uh -huh. Sí, Entonces, y así toda una serie de palabras todo. de mercadeo, fíjese, o de investigación, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, prototype, ahora ya, dígala, donde sea, ¿verdad? Sí, por ejemplo, research, researcher. Research, ajá. ajá. No, ¿verdad? Sí. Cabal. Ajá, Pero y puede ya. usar todos los sinónimos. Usted siempre no deje de utilizar los sinónimos. Investigation, research, questionnaire, o survey, palabras relacionadas a lo mismo. Usted sí. dígalas, úselas, no tenga miedo. Sí. Ese es el detalle. Oye, uh -huh. 
Okay. Poco a poco se le van a ir haciendo naturales. Sí, cabal, más que todo también es el, el, la pena, vea, Púyeme, este, la usé y no era esa. ¿verdad? Exacto, exacto. Le voy a mandar un video de una maestra, tal vez ya lo ha de haber visto, eh, la ha de haber visto a ella, pero ella eh, enseña algo bien interesante y es esas tres cosas que yo le estoy diciendo. Para que usted recuerde esa palabra nueva, ¿verdad? Primero la escuchó. Si solo la escuchó, ¿No? se perdió en el espacio, ¿verdad? Sí. Tengo que escucharla, usarla. En cualquier tipo de oración, ¿verdad? Sujeto, sí. verbo, complemento, ¿verdad? Vale. Y la cuarta, o sea, sería la tercera cosa, sería decirla a alguien. Decirle a alguien, mira, yo aprendí una nueva palabra, es esta, este y este, y significa esto, esto y esto, y se usa de esta y esta manera. Ahora uh -huh. yo ya lo comuniqué, ya no se me va a olvidar, ¿ok? Ya no se me va a olvidar, porque va a venir la otra persona y le va a preguntar, de veras, ¿y, y cómo lo viste? Enseñá, hacerme un ejemplo, pues más si es un estudiante, ¿verdad? También con usted, sí. puede encontrarse aquí con compañeros con los que puede hacer esa práctica. Uh -huh. Ok. Así sí, me gracias. Ves. Ya noté ahí eso también, porque sí me sirve. Sí, ahí le voy a pasar ese video para que te, en su tiempo libre, que es muy corto, pero para que lo vea y escuche a esta maestra explicando esa cosa. Es algo larga la clase, pero se resumen esas tres cosas. Ok. Ok. De acuerdo, gracias. Ok. ¿Alguna otra cosa en que yo le pueda ayudar? Ya sé que tenía una consulta, pero se me olvida. <ríe> no puede ser. <ríe> Ando muy ocupado. No, mire, eh, más que todo, todo en general, pues, eh, a pesar de que el tema ha estado difícil, pues, sí siento que ha, ha podido y nos ha tenido paciencia, porque a veces como que todos quedamos en en la luna y es como que nadie me habla o ok, pero ha tenido esa paciencia. Eh, sí, eso lo, lo, lo califico muy bien. Que sí, también expresa bien, trata de buscar cómo, vea. De modo que nosotros eh, solo no se quede aquí, vea, sino que llegue y de vuelta y todo esto. Exacto, Entonces, necesitamos que lo use. Ese ajá. es mi objetivo, que usted lo pueda usar. Uh -huh. ah. Exacto, pero que me alegra, me alegra que vayamos por buen camino, ¿verdad? Y acuérdense que es building vocabulary. O sea, sí. ahorita es como hacer un brick, luego viene otro, luego viene otro hasta terminar el sexto, ¿verdad? Del, del, sí, del, 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 ahí va Sí, ahí vamos parte por parte. No se preocupe que vamos por buen camino. Hey, el otro tema va a estar. No, no, es que ustedes se, se, se me ponen como así muy ansiosos. No, vamos parte por parte. Okay, okay. Ajá, me hay acuerdo. que tomarlo desglosado para poder irlo aprendiendo. Igual lo otro que, digamos, eh, estoy viendo más, eh, o estoy, ¿cómo lo podría decir? Enfoca es con las distintas, con las transitions, eh, que eso era un tema pues puramente nuevo, no había sí. como que visto eso, uh -huh. o si digamos ya había visto la palabra, porque hay varias que se usan, sí, uh -huh. pero no sabía esta función, digámoslo así, uh -huh. o como las de secuencia, que primero iniciamos con first, Uh -huh. Último con final y ese orden Exacto. no lo había visto. Mm, okay. Entonces es como que voy ahí tomando eso. Sí, y ya, sí. la verdad sirve en dado caso uno está explicando algo. Que, any Ajá. process, any process Ajá. takes the sequence words. Las distintas sí. palabras que eh, algunas que me confunden, o sea que digamos que la podemos usar toda o oh, la de además. Esas son, ajá, exacto, esas son las que puede usar indistintamente, las que significa más o además. Uh -huh, ajá. Como que ahora ya es más como que, ah, ok, ya, ya lo sé, o sea, me lo confirma, ¿verdad? 
porque era como que ya, no sé si esto, que no me acuerdo si esto significaba lo otro así ¿verdad? porque hay varios significados que van además mientras que por lo tanto es como que cuál significa cuál vea exacto sí pero no sí. sé cómo es que se llaman esas esas palabras se me ha olvidado como so also eh. conjunctions Ajá, conjunciones ah, sí. o también hay preposiciones. Uh -huh. Ajá. Entonces sí. que van como que, toca recordarme, aunque algunas es como que van al principio, otras se meten luego de esto, entonces eh, a veces eso me frena, sí. como que pues no me acuerdo. Sí, no el orden buscar. de las palabras, el orden de las palabras en una oración es sumamente importante. Y prácticamente eso es una materia muy aparte, Nelson. No se preocupe, porque eso es una materia, ya si uno quiere estudiar el lenguaje como tal, como idioma, ¿verdad? Eh, no solamente como una segunda lengua de comunicación. Si usted quiere saber pormenores de reglas gramaticales y todo el uso del de lenguaje en sí o la formación del lenguaje, eh, que va incluida hasta historia de, de lenguaje, así como nosotros en español, ¿verdad? Cuando vemos idioma nacional o el lenguaje, esa parte es una materia completa, completa, y es precisamente que se llama Parts of the Speech, así se llama esa, esa, ese tema, y la materia es sintaxis, ¿verdad? Es sintaxis mm. de la oración, es una cosa eh, extensa, pero para comunicarnos, yo quisiera quitarle un peso de encima a usted y decirle, ubíquese primero en hacer una oración simple, ordenar su idea con el sujeto, el verbo y el complemento en cualquier tiempo verbal. Media vez usted arme sujeto, verbo, complemento para la afirmativa, para la negativa y para las preguntas, ya la hizo para comunicarse. Y Ajá. ahora, función de las palabras, si es una materia, ya esa materia es más profunda como es en español, ¿verdad? Y en español es más difícil, le voy a contar, que en inglés. Es mucho más difícil el español, así que ya lleva usted el, un buen porcentaje ganado, porque usted sí. habla español y conoce el español con sus reglas. Entonces, eh, yo creo que parts of the speech es importante. Pero lo más importante es que para comunicarse, usted vea que usted necesita expresar su idea completa volviendo a lo básico. Lo básico es un sujeto, un verbo y un complemento. Hablábamos de los sujetos complejos. ¿Por qué? Porque no solamente hablamos de una persona o de una cosa. Hablamos de varias cosas a la vez, de varias personas a la vez. Por eso sí. necesitamos conocer eh, sujetos complejos y hablamos del subject verb agreement para saber qué forma del verbo usar y esas son las sí. dos partes básicas sujeto, verbo y luego el complemento el complemento puede ser cualquier cosa que modifique la acción del verbo eso es todo Me, no necesita eh, meterse a, a más ¿verdad? Poco a poco vamos a ir viendo algunas partes. Por ejemplo, cuando veamos en el presente perfecto la voz pasiva, que ya la vimos en los sí. eh, eh, anteriores, sí, pero la bien. hemos visto como eh, presente y como eso se da en todos los tiempos verbales. Entonces, en el presente perfecto lo único que vamos a agregar, ¿verdad? Es precisamente eso, ¿verdad? La voz pasiva, el pen el verbo to be en el presente perfecto. Entonces, eso es lo que hay que irle metiendo nada más, los detallitos que me permitan comunicarme, pero de una manera entendible. Eso sería lo que yo quisiera quitarle el peso de encima. Lo que sí quisiera eh, dejarle eh, como con mucha importancia es que usted escuche mucho, pero imite. O sea, no solo se quede con escucharlo, imítelo. O sea, no, sí. no se... No se eh, media vez usted sepa pronunciarlo, le va a ayudar al listening. Sí, lo traigo, lo trato de... Practicar. 
practicar siempre, digamos, cuando se está leyendo, ¿ok? Voy, trato de ir a la par. Correcto. Viendo, o, o, ah, esta no la sabía, entonces. Eh. Correcto. Uh -huh. Es necesario imitar. Así aprenden los bebés, imitando, ¿verdad? Ellos no nacieron leyendo, ellos no nacieron sí. viendo tele, ellos nacieron escuchando a la mamá, al papá y a los de cerca, escuchando sí. cómo se habla, cómo se habla, oyendo la musiquita, no más. Entonces, okay. él, esa es la forma que funciona, ¿ok? Ok. Uh -huh. Good. ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí, Nelson? Sí. Okay, la, ya me ayudó, mire, ya se me quitó. Sí, es que hay que quitarse ese peso de encima. Uh -huh. Porque la gramática sí. la va a ir aprendiendo media vez usted empiece a ordenar desde el principio. Ordena, ver, sujeto, verbo, complemento y ahí va. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Yeah. Bueno, entonces, see you tomorrow, Nelson, and have a very good night. Thank you, and you right. have a good night. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye. Bye.